Goats live in a wide variety of environments throughout the world. But whether they are accustomed to scaling rocky mountains with steep crevices or grazing in lush green pastures, goats all have one thing in common. They need healthy hooves to survive. One thing that is absolutely crucial to maintaining healthy hooves is keeping them trimmed. Without proper trimming, the wall of the goat's hoof will become overgrown which could cause the animal to develop what's known as bad pastern or cause the lower legs to become somewhat deformed. In more severe cases, overgrown hooves could lead to disease, one of which may be hoof rot. Lameness, which may be related to either hoof rot or overgrown hooves, prevents an animal from escaping predators. Ultimately, the goat may die from infection. While wild goats trim their hooves naturally by climbing steep rocks and other hard surfaces, goats that live in pastures, pens, or kept as pets must rely on their owners to regularly trim their hooves to proper levels. The methods for hoof trimming vary among goat owners. Goat owners who groom their animals for show, for example, may use a totally different approach to trimming than the methods that farmers use. In this presentation, we will demonstrate a basic trimming method that is effective but safe for both the goat and the trimmer. Before we begin trimming, let's identify the necessary tools and other materials that are needed for the trim. For trimming, you'll need a pair of hoof trimmers or a pair of snub nose garden pruning shears. It's important that these tools are very sharp to ensure a quick, sure cut. You'll also need a hoof pick for removing rocks and gravel trapped between the toes of the hoof. Finally, you'll need a hoof rasp for smoothing and leveling the hooves. In order to do a good trim job, the trimmer needs to be able to clearly see the hoof wall and hoof pad. So it's a good idea to have on hand a spray bottle filled with warm, soapy water and disposable paper towels for cleaning away mud and manure. A bleach and water solution may also be used for heavily soiled hooves. The goat's willingness to endure a hoof trim in many cases depends on the relationship between the goat and his owner or caretaker. Most goats don't like the process, so preparation is a key first step. You should approach the goat in a very calm manner and remain calm at all times while trimming. If the animal is frightened or startled, he may attempt to jerk away, which could cause injury to the goat or the trimmer. Remember, the trimming tools are very sharp, so the trimmer must work with steady hands. The goat must sense that his trimmer is not going to hurt him, and the trimmer must sense that the animal is calm and is not going to jerk away during the trim. Now that both our trimmer and the goat are calm, we can begin the trimming process. There are a couple of positions that will allow you to easily trim the hooves. For larger goats, you may want to use a straddle position to trim the back hooves. This is done by stepping over the back of the goat and facing the rear end of the animal. Your right foot should be placed on the ground on the goat's left side, and your left foot should be on the right side. Think of it as mounting a horse backwards but you should never at any time sit on the goat's back. Do not lift the goat's legs at an odd angle because that would most likely hurt or startle the animal. It's a good idea to practice lifting the goat's leg a couple of times before you actually begin trimming to reassure the animal you're not going to hurt him. Your tools and other materials should be placed so that you can easily reach them without losing your position. Now we're ready for the trim. First, use the hoof pick to remove any obvious rocks, mud, manure, or gravel from the hoof. Then, spray the hoof with warm, soapy water 
and use disposable paper towels to wipe away as much remaining dirt as possible. By now, you should have a clear view of the overgrown hoof wall and the hoof pad. Using the pruning shears, start at the heel and begin trimming the hoof wall, working your way toward the toes. Trim off small layers at a time until you evenly reach the desired level. You should never take off large chunks in a single cut. After the trim, the hoof wall should be about one-eighth of an inch beyond the hoof pad and evenly flat for solid hoof placement on the ground and good balance. A good guide for trimming is the hairline on the hoof. You should try to trim so that the line of the hoof is parallel to the hairline. Use the hoof rasp to smooth and level the hoof. It's important not to trim too aggressively, especially if the hooves are severely overgrown. You should consider trimming severely overgrown hooves in phases over a period of about two weeks. If you trim too closely at one time, the goat's hooves will become sore and cause him to be lame for a few days. If, while trimming, you notice a pink area, do not trim any further. Bleeding may occur with trimming beyond this point. If this happens, soak the hoof in a disinfecting solution such as hydrogen peroxide and apply stop blood powder or cornstarch. Now that we have successfully trimmed one back hoof, repeat the process with the other. For trimming the front hooves, lift the front leg so that the hoof is facing upward and repeat the trimming procedure. Remember to lift the leg at an angle so that it bends naturally for the goat, never at an odd angle. The terrain in which goats live determine how often you should consider hoof trimming. Remember, goats that roam over a rocky terrain may not need their hooves trimmed as often as those kept in pastures or confined to an acreage area. Goats raised for the show ring should be trimmed even more. The best practice is to check hooves regularly and trim on an as-needed basis. About every six to ten weeks is a good period for examining the hooves for trimming. Look for signs of a bothersome hoof, such as an obvious limp or excessive pawing at the ground. These are signs the goat's hooves need immediate attention. And of course, symptoms of hoof rot, such as sores between the toes and a foul smell, call for emergency treatment and care. Hoof trimming is an integral component of flock management. Other components include proper pinning and diet. To prevent hoof rot and other diseases, goats should be kept in areas where the ground is dry. If the ground becomes soggy or muddy, you should consider temporarily moving the flock to a different area. Housing, with a cement floor, is a good temporary substitute. Fast growing hooves is a sign that your flock may be getting too much protein in its diet. Too much protein could bring on the onset of a disease known as laminitis. You should make sure your goats get proper amounts of minerals, such as copper, in their diets to keep the hooves growing evenly. Always use specific goat mineral mix to ensure proper copper levels. Copper is also vital to preventing hoof rot or hoof scald. Let's review the principles of good goat hoof care. Remember to check your flock at least every six to 10 weeks and trim on an as needed basis. Look for obvious signs such as a limp or pawing at the ground. Use the proper tools for trimming and make sure that cutting tools are sharp. Remain calm at all times and make sure the animal is calm. Never lift the goat's legs at odd angles. Trim conservatively, removing only small layers at a time. Trim severely overgrown hooves in stages over a period of about two weeks. Finally, Make sure your goats get the proper minerals in their diets. Whether your goats are for dairy, meat production, show, or family pets, proper hoof care is vital to their health. Mm -hmm.